Introduction Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt like you weren't a priority? Without a doubt, it is an unpleasant feeling, but it becomes even worse when it is someone close to you, a family member, friend, or partner, who makes you feel this way. But what if I told you that there are proven methods to make yourself a priority in someone's life? In fact, if you understand and apply what we are about to show you, you can achieve this. There are a few proven steps that can help you make sure you're always at the top of someone's list. By following these steps, you can ensure that you are always a priority in that person's life. So, make sure you watch this video until the end and take note. Understanding the core problem. Notes if necessary. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and let's start by understanding the core problem. Before we dive into the solution, it is vital to understand the core problem, as understanding the problem is the first step to solving it. To put it simply, ask yourself one direct question, what makes you feel like you're not a priority? Now here's the crucial question, why do they choose to spend their time elsewhere instead of with you? According to research, there are two main reasons, they know you will always be there for them, which makes them take you for granted, and they don't see you as an important part of their lives, which is why they choose to spend their time with other people instead of with you. I understand this may be difficult to hear, but it is important to recognize this truth. Now that you understand the problem, it's time to revolutionize your approach by learning the solution. Step 1. Stop initiating communication. If you find yourself frequently initiating communication with someone important in your life, it may be time to take a step back. This may seem counterproductive, after all, if you want to be a priority in someone's life, shouldn't you be the one who initiates communication? The answer is no. When you are always the one initiating communication, the other person starts to take you for granted. They get used to your efforts and start to see you as less important. So what is the solution? Simply stop initiating communication and observe the results. If the other person really cares about you, they will make an effort to get in touch with you. Since you've come this far, I'd like to ask you for a like and, if possible, your comment. This is really important. This way, YouTube understands and strengthens our learning channel. Step 2. Avoid always being available. The term, quality over quantity, is often applied to various areas of life and also to relationships. If you aspire to be a priority in someone's life, you may need to be less available. The more available you are, the more likely they are to take you for granted. This doesn't mean you should only be available when it suits you, but if you are consistently the person who is flexible and always available, it's time to prioritize yourself. Conveying the message that you have a life beyond them and that you are not just waiting for them will make them value your presence more. Step 3. Maintain something of mystery. In general, People are attracted to the enigmatic and mysterious. The fascination with the unknown can be captivating and often makes people feel more connected to something or someone. In relationships, being a little mysterious can work to your advantage if you want to be seen as a priority. Avoid revealing everything about yourself right away. Give clues about your hobbies and interests without revealing too much information. Answer questions vaguely and avoid delving too deeply into your past. The goal is to keep the other person intrigued and eager to know more about you. Over time, they will begin to consider you a priority in their lives. Let them invest in you. Step 4. Allow them to invest in you. Consider this, who is most inclined to see you as a priority? Someone who invested a lot in you or someone who invested nothing? The answer is obvious. If you want someone to see you as a priority, you need to allow them to invest in you. This can be done in several ways. For example, let them invest their time in you, refusing plans that you know you won't be able to fulfill. It also shows that your time is valuable by not always being available and making people wait for you. This attitude will convey the message that you are not just anyone and that they need to work harder to save your time. This will make them see you as a challenge and they will start to consider you a priority. Surround yourself with people who see you as a priority. Step 5. Prioritize your needs. This doesn't mean being selfish, 
but rather making sure you don't put yourself in a position where you aren't a priority. For example, if you know that someone won't treat you the way you deserve, why would you want to be around that person? By surrounding yourself with people who see you as a priority, you increase your chances of being seen as a priority. It's important to remember that you can't control someone else's feelings toward you. You can only control how you feel about yourself. If you want to be a priority in someone's life, make sure you are a priority in your own life. Don't make them the center of your life. Step 6. Don't make them the center of your life. Did you know that people are often attracted to things they can't have? That is true. The more someone feels like they need to work for something, the more they will want it. Showing that you're not desperate for their attention will make them value you more. Create the fear of losing you. Step 7. Create the fear of losing you. This is one of the most powerful psychological techniques you can use to make someone consider you a priority. People are often more motivated by the fear of losing something than by the prospect of gaining it. If you want someone to see you as a priority, you need to make them fear losing your presence. To achieve this, start to distance yourself emotionally. Stop sharing your feelings and confidences with them and spend more time with other people and less with them. This will make them feel like they're not as important to you as they used to be. This strategy is very powerful, but must be used with caution. If you withdraw too much, it may be difficult to recover the relationship. Create your own happiness. Step 8. Create your own happiness. If you want to be a priority in someone's life, it's important to create your own happiness and not depend on them to be happy. While it's great to have someone to trust and make us feel good, depending on them for our happiness can lead to disappointment. Furthermore, when we depend on others to be happy, we are not really living our own lives, we are living according to their agenda and priorities, which can lead to resentment. If you want to be a priority in someone's life, it's important to create your own happiness. This will not only make you happier in the long run, but it will also make you more attractive to others, as you will appear more balanced and confident. Step 9. Be willing to walk away. The idea of walking away from someone you care about can be scary, but it's an important step if you want to be a priority in that person's life. By showing that you're not afraid to walk away, you're sending the message that you won't accept anything less than you deserve. The right person will naturally see you as a priority and will strive to keep you in their life. At the end, I would like to ask you, did you like today's lesson? Did this content add value to your understanding? If so, I invite you to consider liking, sharing and subscribing for more similar content. Remember that personal development is a journey we are all on together. Until next time, keep growing, keep learning and strive to become the best version of yourself.